It's election season, and did you know you only have two more months left to register to vote for the general election? Hmm, let's talk about that. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Over the years, you may have noticed a subject that comes up more than anything else here on the Blog Oklahoma podcast, and that is getting you to go vote. It's that important. From the time I'm recording this podcast, you, as a resident of the state of Oklahoma, have two more months to register to vote. October 14th, 2016 is the very last day for you to register to vote so you can vote in the November 8th general election. That's plenty of time, and it only takes moments to register. So in this episode, I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to vote in Oklahoma. All of the information I'm going to share is available in great detail at the Oklahoma State Elections Board official website at ok.gov slash elections. If you have any questions at all on how to vote in Oklahoma, start there first. That was ok.gov slash elections. First off, you need to register to vote. (laughs) You need to be 18 years old or older, a citizen of the United States, and a resident of the state of Oklahoma. But you can't register if you're a convicted felon or have been judged incapacitated by the court. You can get a voter registration form from your local county elections board, uh, post office, library, tag agency, and at many other public locations. Or you can download a form from the Oklahoma State Elections Board website at ok.gov slash elections, fill it out, mail it in. That's all you got to do. In a few days, you will receive a voter identification card in the mail. Now keep this card safe. Put it in a safe location so you won't lose it because you may need this card later. Now that's it. That's all you have to do to be registered to vote in Oklahoma. So, how do you vote? On election day, on any election day, but we're going to talk about the general election, and that's on November 8th, 2016. So on election day, you're going to head down to your polling location. Now, if you don't know where that is, just contact your county elections board or... You can look it up with the online voter tool at ok.gov slash elections. Remember, we're going to keep going there. (laughs) The polls are going to be open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., so you have plenty of time to go vote. Oklahoma has a voter ID law. You need to present proof of identity before they will give you a ballot. That's any photo identification that has been issued by the United States government the state of Oklahoma, or a federal recognized tribal government. You may use the free voter identification card you received when you registered to vote. That's why you got to keep it safe. The law allows you to use that voter ID card even though it doesn't include a photo. So remember that. (laughs) The uh, Oklahoma ballot is a long sheet of cardstock. And all you need to do is with an ink pen that they will give you, is color in a little rectangle next to the person or whatever you're going to vote for. When you're finished marking the ballot, you take that sheet over to the machine near the exit, feed it through the slot, it beeps at you, doo-doo-doo-doo, and you're done. That's it. You've just voted. (laughs) And don't forget your sticker on your way out that says, I voted. (laughs) If you're uh, not going to be able to go to the polls on that particular Tuesday, you can vote early at your county elections board on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday before the election. You can also request an absentee ballot from the Oklahoma State Elections Board. They will mail you the ballot, you fill it out, you send it back before Elections Day, and that's it. Again, you can get more details on early and absentee voting at the uh, ok.gov slash elections website. (laughs) Voting in Oklahoma is not that difficult compared to other states. Yes, we have a voter ID law, but it's not as burdensome as some other states you may have heard in the news lately. 
Remember, if you don't have something like a driver's license, military ID, passport, or any of the other valid photo IDs, you can use the voter ID card you got when you registered to vote. If you lost yours, contact your county elections board and they will send you a new one. All the phone numbers for your local county elections board can be found in the blue pages of your phone book or again at the ok.gov slash elections website. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying it until you remember it. ok.gov slash elections. Now, as a citizen of the state of Oklahoma, it is vitally important that you go vote. Oklahoma has low voter turnout. It's a fact. And as a reflection of that, we get the kind of government and laws you deserve because you couldn't be bothered to go vote. Sorry to be that blunt about it, but it's the reality we live in. This is why I'm bringing up the topic now, some 85 days before the general election, because every chance I get, I'm going to remind you to go register and go vote. As we get closer to the general election on November 8th, I'll share more voter information with you so you can be an informed voter. So that's it. Remember, Oklahoma, go register to vote before October 14th and go vote on November 8th. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is... I want you to encourage your friends to register to vote. Remember, the deadline is October 14th. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for Web Ring membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the Web Ring and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com for more information. Oh, one more thing. I have a new section that covers Oklahoma voting in the Roku channel. Now, if you're not familiar with a Roku, it's a small internet device. It's pretty inexpensive. It lets you watch things like Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Video and, and the Blog Oklahoma podcast. In it, I have a new section called OK Votes 16. It has all the voter information I just talked about, plus more. And it shares links to all this important information like ok.gov slash elections. So hopefully, if you haven't installed our channel yet, please do so. <laughs> you can find more information about our Roku channel at blogoklahoma.net slash Roku. Here are the top five things found on my desk at work as I typed up part of this week's podcast script. Number five, a tape dispenser. Number four a stapler. Number three, an old paper tape adding machine. Number two, a quad letter size legal pad with fine point sharpie pen. And the number one thing on my desk as I was typing up part of this week's podcast script was a large cup of coffee with the Blog Oklahoma podcast logo on it. Sorry I missed last week. I had too many things going on to even sit down to work on the podcast. It all started with a drip coming from my kitchen ceiling. The upstairs toilet had been dripping from its tank for oh, who knows how long. It was an easy fix, so there was no real damage done. Still, not a great way to start your weekend. And let's just say after that, a lot of other household chores popped up that were filling out the rest of the weekend. <laughs> fun. So how's your week been? <laughs> Did you know we have our own cafe press store? There you can purchase your t-shirt, a coffee mug, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on them. So please just head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now well over 11 hours of music for you to enjoy. You can listen to the playlist on Spotify and on YouTube. I'll have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of August 14th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 
906 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.